Hello again. This is Zane Nabulsi. I'm a senior developer evangelist with Microsoft. Uh, you can see all my contact information in the upper left-hand corner. And uh, if you haven't gone out yet and gotten the book, go grab it. Coding Faster, Getting More Productive with Microsoft Visual Studio. Today we're going to be talking about working with the new project dialog. It's fun and hip and whitens your teeth while you use it. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. There's some of the summary information. And so how do you work with the new project dialog in Visual Studio 2010? Uh, it's actually pretty cool. There's lots of new features you might want to pay attention to. For example, one of the earliest first new features we have, if I just kind of dig into my templates here, is the ability to finally search installed templates. So we can now search installed templates. So for example, if I'm looking for anything that has web in it, uh, it gives me all the template names that are web related, right? You see a big old list here. The only downside is it also gives me all the languages that are available. Now if I want to filter this list further, I would, should include the language. So in this case, I'll say C Sharp. Notice now, and I'll just zoom in on that web, C Sharp. Notice now it filters by language. Now that's pretty useful, although if you've been using Visual Studio for a while, you're pretty darn familiar with the installed templates already. So you may not find it as useful. It becomes extremely useful, though, when you start dealing with things like online templates. If you're not familiar with the online templates section, if I click on online templates, it'll actually go out to the Visual Studio Gallery where people have po posted additional templates. Um, and this is where it becomes very, very useful. So now I need some help with WCF. So I type WCF. Now, again, we get the same problem with multiple languages. What professionals tend to do, the more they use this, is they'll tend to lead off with their language. So I'll type VB and then space and WCF. And what will happen is it will now filter out and show me those online templates that will help me with WCF. Again, if your language is C Sharp, you just type C Sharp instead. I'll do the same thing for C Sharp. And you can see there, C Sharp space WCF and gives me all the lovely C Sharp templates. So very cool, very hip, especially when you're dealing with you know unknown kinds of scenarios. Now in addition to that, we have a new ability uh, in the install template section to actually sort the templates. Just so you know, uh, used to be you had to go with the default template sort order, but now we actually have different sort orders that are available to you. Default, name ascending, and name descending. So if you actually want them sorted by name, you can do it. No problem. There you go. Name ascending name descending and it will actually sort them by name for you if that's what you want and you can always go back to the default if that's your desire last but certainly not least we have a very cool brand new section known as recent templates and and this was created for a very specific reason um, most people we found out don't actually use 20 billion templates a day in fact your typical developer is probably going to use somewhere between zero and three templates uh, a day a week or even a month or a year and so recent templates was created to show you your last five most recently used templates. So it's going to show you your last five most recently used templates. Very useful, very valuable, and what we're finding is a lot of people tend to just stay in here because you don't go through a whole bunch of templates, and certainly five is quite a number. So uh, recent templates, very valuable for you for sticking with the templates so you don't have to dig through your installed templates or your various online templates. And there you have it. That's all there is to it. Uh, all the wonder and glory that's available in the new project dialogue.